But fuck me, that was the hardest two weeks of my life. I can't even explain it. I'm broken. I'm absolutely broken. Right, so I'm getting collected from uh, mum and dad's house in the morning. Guys, have you any uh, words of wisdom for me before I go on my on my mission? Which is too unusual and laugh. Be yourself. Alright, so that's the advice. Be myself and mum just laughs. Thanks very much for the support, guys. <laughs> so we're manifesting a victory. You can do it, Eric. Travelling over in the morning to London, not, not knowing what to expect, but we're hoping for the win, guys. Be positive. Stay tuned. So I'm just waiting on the taxi. This is the, the weather in January in Donegal. Um, Hopefully it's a bit nicer in London. Nerves are starting to kick in. Um, I also can't get through to my taxi driver, which is a bad start. But uh, this is it. This could be the start of a new journey. A TV journey. Being a millionaire. I don't know. Who knows what's in store. But I'm excited. You got everything there with you? I do. Taxi's here. Everyone down steps are mad slippy. Look, Dad's an influencer too. He has to get me leaving. Right, Dad, give me a hug. I'll see you later. That's my boy. Right, see you later, guys. I'm off to win some money. We have arrived at the madness that is Dublin Airport. I think I have a two or three hour wait now, so I'm going to find British Airways. Never flown with British Airways before. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to chill out for a bit. Right, so I'm at the airport. Um, probably won't really get to more footage now before the flight, so I'll check in again in London. Here we go! <laughs> Right, I've just arrived. Um, for some reason, Netflix booked my transfer for like two hours after I landed. So I don't know. I'll probably just get my own taxi, or do I wait at the airport? Um, I've never, I've never come on a Netflix show before, so I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting the hotel now. I think they take the phone off me in a day or two, so I'll keep you updated till then. to go into the hotel don't know how much more i'm going to be able to vlog or get away with vlogging so if i have to potentially sign off I'll see you on the other side right so i'm basically in a big holding area and um, they're not letting us speak to one another and i got a ticket number 347 i don't know if that's going to be my number on the show but uh they said it could be a couple of hours wait i think they're just getting everyone registered and into their rooms so I could be here a while, but uh, it's funny being able to eye up the competition. Right, so long story short, I'm checked in, have my itinerary, I'm just in the lift now, going up to my room. Basically we're not like leave our hotel room, so this could be the only time I'm out. I think they bring food to the room and stuff, so it's all very cloak and daggers. That was a long sit in the lobby though. This is the room, not bad. That's my player number. 215 so that's the number i'm going to be on the show basically and um, which i'm kind of glad about because i remember on the show that gla big glass walkway thing number number one has to go first so my high number i don't even know why i'm thinking that far ahead do you know what i mean like i'm talking about the glass walkway thing 200 people go out day one that's the kind of murmurs and rumors that are going around like everyone has a flight back home for tuesday today is Sat friday we have to quarantine Saturday and Sunday, and then they take our phones off us on Sunday. So I'm going to have two long days now in the hotel, basically, chilling out. They bring the food to the room. I have to do a COVID test tomorrow, which I hope I pass, because that's basically game one. You have to pass that to even get on the show. But I'm going to bed now. I don't even know if I'm going to use this footage. Good morning. Day one in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going down for breakfast now at 9 o'clock. They said I have to go down, collect my breakfast and bring it back to my room. I'm not allowed to speak to any of the other guests, which makes sense. Um, and then we have a few other things to do, like take photos. 
Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna be too busy. I'm gonna be in this room basically all day. But this is my view. Not a bad view of London. All right, so I'm just going down now for breakfast. We have to wear our masks anytime we leave the room. Um, obviously the COVID test is later, so better safe than sorry. That would be a disaster, failing that test, having to go home. Um, but I'll try and document as much as I can sneakily on the way down for breakfast here. Right, so it wasn't a massive amount of options. This is what we got. Probably tastes better than it looks. It's about one o'clock. I feel like I've been in this hotel room for a week already. This is only day one. I have all day tomorrow as well. I get to go down for lunch at three, but I'm so fucking bored. It's insane. I think they're coming around for the COVID test soon. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, just to speak to someone. All right. All right, so this is what we've got. Chicken, rice and peas, basically. Doesn't look great. Just eating my food. It's, uh, it's not great. I've got dinner. I'm due for dinner at six. The only time you can leave the room is when you're going to get food. It's just so, so boring. They don't tell you about this in the fine print, but I suppose it's just part and parcel of it. Um, I have a COVID test now at four, so hopefully I'll pass that. Okay, update, it's four o'clock and they've just dropped off my outfit. Uh, I don't think this is a tracksuit, this is like thermals and my shoes and shit. And I have to wear those today to a photo shoot. But it was nice speaking to someone. I've been alone for so long. Hello, this is Eric Roberts reporting live from my hotel room. It's now six o'clock. I had to do two COVID tests. The first one came back inconclusive shit myself and then i had to do another one and he put the fucking thing like out to my brain and i haven't heard from him since so i think that's a good sign and going down for dinner now and then more isolating it's been so fucking boring dinner time braised beef and cottage pie and it's uh tastes as good as it sounds i've got to go to my Profile photos now after this and then it's bedtime and just more isolating. This has been a really, really long couple of days. Right, so this is my thermal outfit that I have to wear. It's a bit fucking snug. These are my sexy plimsolls. So I'm going up now for my photos. I have to wear this shit in the photos. But yeah, going up now to get the photos in this and then bed. And then they take my luggage, my phone, everything off me tomorrow. So, oh, <laughs> who's that sexy man? Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's the plan. Right, it's Sunday morning, just sitting down to a delicious, nutritious breakfast. Locked myself out of my room now, that's why I'm a bit out of breath, I had to run back down. But uh, they're taking our phones off us at 12 o'clock today, and then that's it. Uh, I have to sit here then all day without a phone, which is going to be the first big test. And then it's D-Day tomorrow. I think that we, we go in at like 4 in the morning, and hopefully I won't have my phone for a long time. The longer you don't hear from me, the better, basically. But yeah, this is it. Going to win five million quid. Wish me luck. This will be my last video. Uh, I'm leaving my phone and my luggage down. Just no idea what to expect. It's been a long couple of days in isolation. I'm going to get a shower now, freshen up a bit. And fingers crossed, it goes well. Peace out. Right, officially in the line to hand over my phone. 
So this will be my last communication. Peace. Show me the money. How do you want to look at it? You have been building relations. Only 20 players will pass to the next game. Now you will show where your true allegiances lie. Please pick one ally to save from elimination and join you in the next game. The 11 players into the legions will be. I don't even know what, what date it is. <laughs> Just got my phone back. I am absolutely fucked. Um, I think it's Friday. It's Friday the 1st or the 2nd. It's been nearly two weeks. It's not what I expected it to be at all. Oh my god, I look fucked. It's been about 24 hours since I left the dorm. And it's just two weeks of torture. Two weeks of absolute torture. Emotional torture, physical torture. They starved us. I mean, I was questioning the le the legality of it all. How they were getting away with it. We were refused to go to the bathroom at times. We weren't allowed to brush our teeth. I didn't win. I got to the top 30. And the way I went out too was fucking horrible. I was so close to the final. I don't travel home till tomorrow. I still have to do some more filming. But I just want to get the fuck out of London. I want to go home. <laughs>